Hello everyone. Uh, in my previous session, I had explained the concepts of apt tool in Android. What is the importance and the responsibilities of apt tool in Android? Uh, today's session, uh, we'll see one of the command which is used uh, to get the package details. Okay, I have some package. I don't know what is inside that package. What permissions are there? What languages that package is written, or what version that package is? For which devices it is applicable I'm not sure so using this apt command I'll show you all how to extract those details so let's get started so where this apt will be there uh, I'll show you all you have to go to app data local and inside that Android folder will be there inside your SDK folder apt tool will be there and inside SDK folder I should actually go to build tools and here we see different SDKs that I have downloaded in my Android Studio. Based on whichever version you would like to wish, you can choose. Here I can choose the latest version, SDK 31. Here you all can see, right, the app, AIDL, the different tools are installed here. So how to reach at this location? You can go to Windows Search and you can give percentage, app data percentage. Then you can navigate to this Android SDK. So whenever you have installed Android Studio set up all your SDK and the build tools you have to go inside the build tools this folder will be available inside build tools multiple versions will be there and one of those we can see you can give this uh, as, as your environment variable so that from the command prompt directly you can run the apt command right now I have not set it as my environment variable so from this folder itself I am opening a command prompt okay so this is my command prompt and the command which I want to show you all today the magical command is that uh, we will use apt dump dump space badging okay apt space dump space badging followed by the apk okay apk name that means the apk from which i want to extract the permissions the versions the minimum version the android the uh, which android flavor that package is applicable to and in which languages that apk is supported all this if i want to come to know i need to uh, pass that apk so that apk i have actually uh, copied in this particular folder let me copy paste so I'm just dragging this APK here and so this is my command apt dump badging followed by the APK here I have taken uh, uh, example of speech service by Google APK Google APK only I have taken one examples which will provide the uh, text to speech conversion all the different varieties of speech services supported now if I just give enter all the data will be populated here so what I want to do I will just redirect it to some uh, text file so that it uh, gives us the better readability option so let me rename it as uh, google dot txt okay so we can see here google dot txt file is generated let me minimize this one and let me go ahead and open this text file uh, for easier uh, analysis let's select android logger so this is the output how it looks right we can see the package name of the apk when we have an apk and when we want to extract some of the important useful information from that particular apk we can use this apt tool so we'll get to know the package name of that particular apk com google android tts is the package name and what is the version code version name of that particular apk google tts google speech apk this is the version name and um, the platform build version name so on which android platform it is developed so it is developed on upside down cake which means that it's nothing but android version 14 14 is named as upside down what is the compile sdk version 
right and what is the version code name we can see what is the target sdk version we can see all these details it's easily accessible if we have an apk and when we want to install that particular apk on a device sometimes we get uh, installation failed uh, due to upgrade failed downgrade failed these errors we will get that is because the apk which you are trying to install is already of the lower version than the apk that is already present in your device so uh, install failed version downgrade install failed version upgrade these errors are common in such cases when we want to know the version details we can use this apt tool all these are the uh, permissions we have added in our manifest file so this is the internet permission foreground service access network state all these are the different permissions and for that speech service by google the app name in every different language that app name is defined you all can see in english in urdu in every different language it is defined so multiple languages are there kannada latin and icon also we can see what is the resolution of the icons present also and what is the app name app label okay this is the app label and what is the icon which is the library which is not required which are the hardware features which are not required those also we can see okay and other information is the what is the screen size supported small normal large extra large these are the screen size which are supported these things also we can see supports any density it supports any density so it's made true okay it's not density dependent that's why it made true and the different languages the app will support are again defined here okay the different densities are defined here native code um architecture abi 7a so all this information we can come to know if we want to know only the permissions this particular app is using the time i can just uh, use permissions instead of badging command let me go here instead of badging i'm just replacing it with permissions oops i was redirecting it to the google.txt file that's why i could not see the output now i removed and i'm outputting it on my command prompt itself so these are the different permissions that my application is using so this was about the apt command how to extract the important information from the apk okay so uh, we saw using the apt command how to extract the package details from an apk suppose uh, we have an apk on our desktop or laptop from that apk we want to get the package details that time we can actually use this apt command but there are certain scenarios that we want to get the package name of an application which is already installed on my device so in such case what has to be done we will see now for that we need to use the dumpsys command so we will use adb shell dumpsys package followed by uh, the package name whichever i am interested in okay so here i'm just uh, trying to get the details of the calculator application which is already installed on my device and let me store it in calc.txt file okay so it's generated let me go to that folder and open this for better readability i'll change the language to android logger see here we can see the different information about the package which is already installed on my device so main what are the different actions categories default we scroll down different packages used what are the different flags used okay what is the apk signing version all these things we can get to know 
what are the different permissions which are used in this particular calculator application what are the install permissions which are used in the manifest file again hidden package names package path the version code okay what is the minimum sdk calculator supports and what is the target sdk what are the different flags we also can get information about the user libraries okay package changes any changes done to the package compiler stats all this different information we can get to know so uh, this is if the app is already installed on the device we have to use adb shell dumpsys package command to get the package details if the app is not installed on the device we can use apt tool command apt command to get the information about the package names so i hope this uh, gave you all some idea about how to extract the uh, information from apk tool so i hope uh, you all enjoyed this session i'll see you all soon in my next session until then everyone take care bye dimple signing off